Okay, once again, you are welcome. I just want to do a little video on working on stabilizer like this, especially when it has to do with the relay. So, this is one relay, another relay, one, this is one relay, another relay, another relay, another relay. So I just want to show you some technicality how I used to handle some of all these relays. So let me first of all check for this relays. I've removed the rest to be sincere. It just one left. Just view it, let them see it. It's not showing properly. I want so I just want to show you some technicality on how to remove relay. First of all, you can get a 12 volt power supply, like as I mentioned before, to check for your relay that has an indicator if you want this one had an indicator so i want to trigger this relay on the board this particular relay so uh this is just the constructed 12 volt stuff that one of my boy did so watch the indicator also and what would happen to the board now this is my positive. This one with cell tape is my negative. This one without cell tape is my positive. So I hold it like this. Now one side of the relay is linked to the power side. And for it to get your power side, you figure out the biggest relay on it. The biggest relay has been removed. But all what I know is that this is my negative. This is my negative. It's always by this side. This one is my positive side that is linked to the relay leg. So meaning this one will be at this relay. This is the re one of this relay. I've removed one, two, three. So put it like this and you see that it's making noise. But the triggering is not audible to me. It's not okay to me. Watch the indicator here. You see that the indicator is blinking telling you something is wrong. Let's assume you wrongly did it. You see the indicator go off. I think you're seeing this indicator going off to show you that you tested it wrongly. So reverse your polarity and do it normal. It's not the sound of the relay is not okay to me. So what I just have to do is just to remove that relay and change it. Let me tell you method one of which I normally also use to remove a relay like that. This is the relay. I support it with my finger. I support it with my finger and, and apply my soaring iron to the leg. First of all, let me apply it before it's... So if you apply it, you'll be dragging it. Think you see that it's coming out gradually because I'm still supporting it with my hand, pulling it out. So, be careful with the heat. So, I pull out that three. Then this two up here. As you are applying heat, you are pressing it out. Okay. And done. The relay is out. So, before you fixing the new relay, you just have to clean up the legs so that you can comfortably position the relay. So, I've cleaned up the board. Now, I want to fix in a new relay. Let me just show you how you can comfortably do that to fix in a new relay. Let me just use one as an example if I stop so that you know I've been done. So this is my relay. You already are aware that these are the coil. This is the contact. These are the coil. These two leg. This is the contact. It's facing up, meaning this is normally closed. This button is normally open. So I've already bought holes. So when I'm fixing the relay like this. Thank you, see. You press it in. 
even without soldering is strong because of the way he did it. So you support the relay at the back. And you apply your soldering iron before you now apply lead to each of the leg. So I've done fixing that relay. You follow up that method and fix the rest. You have removed three more to go. So once again, this is just what I just want to show you and you can comfortably fix it and handle a relay technically. So this is the end. I hope this helped in solving this relay issue. Thank you.